Yeah, look, we... Um, yeah, obviously that's a, that's a focus. Uh, it doesn't mean we're fixed as far as our first quarters, but um, yeah, we spoke about some things during the, the course of the week. I, I think the boys had a real uh, red hot crack at that. Um, yeah, we leaked just um, before half time, which got it out to 17 points, and then um, the second half, um, you know, we we we. We probably mirrored what we've done over the last, you know, four or five weeks. I know um, we've had a, a, a couple of wins in amongst that, but I still, I think our AFL standard football is is probably still, you know, sixty odd minutes, maybe seventy minutes. Uh, I probably see it with one red eye and one yellow eye, but that's probably as as good as we can play for for that amount of period and stand up against these bigger sides and. An older side, so um, we're certainly not getting carried away with it. We're certainly not um, happy with our fade-outs as well, but uh, it's sort of acceptable, but unacceptable in the same circumstance as well. Is it easier that Bluey, well, at least they had a crack, and right to the finish, like but there's been a couple of games where they just didn't look like they were, and both on a good side, and it's a tough venue. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, look, um, yeah, I, I can't fault the, the boys' endeavour. I mean, it, it's the thing with any young kid playing senior footy, and I know we've got a lot of them, we talk about that each week, but it's just them playing smarter. I, I can't fault their their hardness, I've got to say. I mean, you know, uh, hardball uh, gets again 43, 49, just down marginally. And I, have, I don't know, contested footy. Look, and w- they, they cleaned us up in the uncontested mark, but that's a bit of our style. We're, we're happy to give away some of those kicks around down back. Um, we, we get a bit nervous naturally when they get them through the, the corridor, of course, they can open us up. But, um, you know, we, we, I thought Nathan Bock's performance, you know, on, on, on Buddy, given, you know, it was 61 to 33 inside 50s was, um, you know, was exceptional. Danny Stanley continues to, um, to be that uh, forward line bull for us and, you know, he's done a, a fantastic job. So there, individually there's a few little wins along the way, but, uh, yeah, collectively we, so we just can't sustain it. And that's... Something we we understand, um, you know. It'd be like if um, we took on Hawthorne in a, you know, in an athletics carnival. We know halfway through the relay we're, we're probably going to start to struggle. You know, we just can't keep throwing Bocky and Gary and Jared Brennan and a few of the other blokes out there all the time. You know, uh, picking up the slack for the young kids. But the thing is, underneath all that, those kids are getting better. Um, they're able to to push out more minutes of decent football. Uh, it's, it's, and again, it's not going from 70 minutes one week to out to 120 the very next or 100 minutes. Uh, we know. It's going to be a, um, we know it's going to be a slow journey, but as a, a coach and I'm sure fans and supporters, we want it to happen sort of next week and the week after. But um, we just got to be patient. But um, yeah, we, but you know, as I said, there was a bit of fight. We're happy with that. Is it getting harder now, Louis, at this stage, getting into the second half of the season? Are the, given naturally the probably the youngsters are probably starting to feel a bit more and get a bit more yeah, we spoke about that, but you know we're going to rotate some players, and you know probably Trent McKenzie will be the first one looking at today's game. He's played most of the season. We rested David Swallow, Zach Smith. They were the only two other boys that have played the whole season, and um, we may have pushed Trent an extra week. But look, he's not injured or anything like that. But certainly his, his energy levels are down, and we're going to do that. But I, th- I think that's. That's going to be one of the greatest challenges for us is that how, how hard the second half of the season is. But, uh, you know, uh, I know Mick used to say that the, the, the strongest or the hardest steals forged in the hottest fires. So we know the fire. We've got a massive finish to the season coming up. Uh, well, there's no easy games for us. So I just said to the boys, I mean, you should look, look at that hardness and how hard it's going to be with a smile on your face. You've got to want to bring it on. Because out of, out of all this, we'll get better. But if you cower away and are not prepared to put your... Um, body um, on the line and, 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 and work as hard as we expect you to work, well, you're not going to improve. So put yourself out there. As I said, smile on your face and go hard. You have to go harder. And if you do that, you, you'll improve yourself. Did you think you got something out of Carmock in, in that final quarter when you, you know, seemed to clear it a couple of times? Yeah, we, uh, I think we had certainly had, a, I don't know how many uh, stoppage goals we had, but that was certainly one he started out of the centre bounce. He did that. Uh, I, again, that was a, um, you know, um, Shane O'Brien, the first year coach, was always a bit nervous about that. Um, Kenny and I had seen him play, you know, VFL, and it was VFL level. And Malcolm Blight's uh, legacy, I think, in the coach's box was, uh, if nothing else fails, you might as well throw Kay in the middle. You've seen him do it at VFL level. So, um, yeah, look, that's that's something for Kay. And look, we we had no um, trouble with it. But uh, you know, I think just long term for him, it's to settle him down down back. But uh, he, he looked like he was cramping. We needed someone on ball, and you know, he, instead of playing 15 or 20 minutes down back, three or four minutes on ball was probably going to help him today and it was a big jump for him to jump out of VFL up into the AFL but um, he, looked, he, f- he looked fairly composed out there that's for sure. And Tom Lynch can you give us a line on him? How the party looks like he needs help but 
Struggling to take marks in your 50, but he comes up here. Yeah, well, we obviously excited with Jared Brennan early. We, we put him down there because he's an experienced fellow, knows how to take a catch, and that's probably worked for maybe 10 or 15 minutes of the, yeah, of the first quarter. Um, but, yeah, Tommy Lynch is just a uh, – I mean – I'm, I'm very biased with our, our boys, the young fellas, they're all great kids and, and Lynchy, you, you probably love him even more because he's just his work rate and you talk about the second half of the season being hard, it's going to be hard for him, he, uh, he's missed a bit of pre-season through glandular fever but uh, he, he's, you just don't have to ask him to work, he's, he's a competitor, he works hard um, and he got the re re uh, results and rewards today. Thank you.